Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant and we are back for some more Icewind Dale 2 with the Enhanced Edition mod. So, in the previous episode we had just arrived at the Severed Hand, but I did remember something that we forgot to do. And it's related to this item right here. The Medallion of the Lost Followers. So apparently this guy, Duke Colsa Eld, was a paladin, which had like a massively powerful sword and defeated these six enemies um, and I think I remember where we can find him there was an area back near Kaldahar Is that all? where we found that Bainite priest that had a graveyard and I'm kind of wondering if it's related to this uh, but I think I need to go to the Kaldahar pass yeah, I need to go to the Kaldahar Pass. Okay. But that's that's easy to do. <laughs> what? We're gonna blink over here. I'm here. I... And Kaldahar Pass, exactly. And now we need to go over there. Yes. <laughs> Not a problem. Okay. I... So there are a couple of graves here, or a lot of graves here. And I'm wondering if one of them belongs to the followers or to the Duke. And for this effect, we are going to rest in case there's going to be a fight here. Because usually these things mean <laughs> a fight. And we're going to see if we can find out if that guy is here or not. Ready. Okay, so let's get our usual buffs. What's your pleasure? What would you like? Your desire. Mm -hmm. Mind blank on Cordant. Stone skins. Okay. Impervious Sanctity of Mind. You're gonna get some cool arrows. And let us investigate. I want everybody in search mode, and we're gonna try and find out what is going on here. Corgan's yeah, gonna go in front. So, Kaisen, Dre, Hatosh, Eliza Beck, Be Besek, Jadiza Film, Jimvold the Gardener. This one doesn't have a, a tombstone. Old Colsa. Traveler and farmer perished in his bed. Oh god, wait. Oh yeah, so they... Oh. <clears throat> so, <laughs> definitely this is the grave of old Colsa, yeah, like we saw. Colsa Eld. And I'm guessing these are the six followers. Vedion Kern. Broken Cree. Yeah, these are these are them. So I'm guessing the most dangerous one of them all is probably Atalaklis. Because he is apparently a mage. Mirror image armor, fire shield protected by mantle. Yeah. Uh, we are kind of in a precarious position here. Uh, I want to see if I can steal his effect, because if I can, I'm going to be properly buffed. Uh, setting is, I guess, is going to start dueling this ranger. Vicky, you can tank this guy. What is Patricia going to do? Executioner's Eyes would be a wonderful addition. Corgan, maybe go back? Go. And what am I doing? They are attacking Jan Janssen and Setinish. So maybe I'm kind of safe? Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm going to try and quicken a mirror image and then I'll use a mass haste. Okay, this is me. No, this is Jan, okay. So let's get a mass haste on my people. Uh, you could also get a mirror image setting-ish, that would help you out. 
Vicky, go over there. And Patricia, go over here. And then I'll start casting some more stuff for them. Steel effects failed. God damn it. So we're gonna have to quicken a mirror image so that he is safe against this. Corgan is beating this guy up. Okay. Jan is safe. I am safe. And I think I'm gonna have to use more than kind of disjunction on that guy. Oh no, wait, I'm casting I'm casting mass haste, I forgot. Whoa! Corgan is stunned, right? Stunning attack. Wonderful. Okay. Um, so, I guess Vicky can... Quicken a freedom. Because I do want Corgan in the fight. Your desire. Patricia isn't doing anything. I don't. Oh, she's. I guess she's throwing ham, uh, axes. No, she shouldn't be. Okay, uh, go over there. Symbol stun, but we resisted it. Okay, Corgan is killing this guy. Hopefully. Jan, how can you help? I guess maybe a Stygian Ice Storm over here could hit them all. So I'm gonna go for that. Safe spell. Stygian Ice Storm. Go. Corgan, let's see if you can knock this guy down. That would help. We are all hasted, so I can move back. Okay, let's see. This guy saved. He has an extra 23 to saves. This guy saved against the knockdown. Yeah, nobody got feeble minded. God damn it. Okay, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. This guy is still on top of me. So I guess I can have Jan. Oh, he doesn't have. He does not have mental, actually. Hmm. I have sympathy. Would that be worth something? Ready. What? Not sure. Uh, I guess I can have Vicky start doing some something over here, like a call lightning. Yes. And you can get an Aegis to make sure you are safe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get that guy naked. With the force disjunction. Uh -huh. And you... Yeah, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with Mr. Jan Janssen here. I do not... I guess I can try and help Setingish, give him improved invisibility. Yeah, I'll go for that. How is this guy looking? Uninjured Jaeger. So wait. Why is he not getting hit? Is setting is not shooting or something? Hit. Immune to piercing. <laughs> God damn it, man. Okay, then swap target, go for this one. I'll see what I can do afterwards. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's a lot of debuffs all, all at once. Disease. How? Cloud of Pestilence. God damn it, man. I'm not even sure how that happened, but okay. She's safe. Okay. 
This guy is naked because of the force disjunction. Let's focus on him now. Uh, move back. Uh, swap to him as well. I am going to want... This guy should be fine. He's still only barely injured. Jesus Christ. Uh, horrid wilting wouldn't be bad, maybe. Like over here. Oh, Jan can't move. Are you kidding? <laughs> he also has miscast magic. Well, that's that's not good. That is not good. I wonder if a mass heal will remove on any of this, but I don't really think so. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna die. He's dead. Whale of the Banshee! He did not get hit by... Okay, that's something very weird going on. Oh, they are undead. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, they're, they are undead. This was a waste. <clears throat> they are undead, they are undead, they are undead. Okay, so in that case, what do I do? Badly wounded, that's better. Let's give Corgan an improved haste. I guess my mass heal did not work. Oh, I think it did. We are no longer slowed. You are hasted, let's move you back. Uh, go over there, or, or, maybe, maybe this wouldn't be bad, no, static charge, yeah, okay, back up, let's kill that guy, Corgan is once again stunned, Jesus, man, why isn't this guy dead, barely injured, how, he resists 20 damage, Uh-huh. Sure, dude. Okay, this guy's dead. Uh, Corgan, go deal with this one. I think setting is gonna have a bad time. Okay. Um, improved haste on Corgan seems to be working out. <clears throat> what else do I do here? I could try and start nuking this guy with magical death. Oh, he's almost dead now. Okay. Barely injured. I guess a force disjunction on the priest wouldn't be too bad. Um, shoot this one. Wait, where is... Ah, Corgan is over here. Badly wounded, that's what I want to see. We can kite. This guy's dead. Go for this one. The priest is completely naked. Let's try and kill her. Uh, Vicky, go over there. What can I do for you? Mm -mm. Improved haste on setting wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I go for that. Okay, he has improved haste. This guy is still chasing Setinge. Oh my god, man. Leave me alone. Whoa! 121. What the hell was that? Quicken. A holy word. On Patricia, please. She's safe. Okay, that one's dead. Okay, go for go for that one actually. You shoot the priest. Okay, I'm still just hanging around. We shall. This one's gonna die. This one is more uh, concerning. So, magic missiles. Oh, she's dead. Okay. 
Is he taking damage? He is taking damage. Okay, not a lot, but some. Oh, I could do this. Now, nah, let's enjoy the, the improved haste with a true strike. And we are going to keep nuking this guy with magic missiles. Okay, shoot. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Heal. There we go. More missiles. Jesus. Okay, well, um, Jan kind of missed out on all of this experience, but are they even worth a lot of experience? 735 each. Yeah, it isn't bad. Okay, so Patricia leveled up. That's good. She took a bunch of damage, but she's fine. <laughs> Um, we have two holy wards, I'm just gonna use them. And you are gonna heal. Corgan. And I think you can just do the level up now because I'm gonna have to rest to resurrect Jan Janssen anyway. So level up for Patricia, level 20 cleric, very nice. Ooh, additional ability point. Let's go for wisdom. The usual stuff here. Any feet? No feet. Okay, in terms of spells. Uh, okay, level 2 spell. Does this help me? Eh, not really, right? Slow poison wouldn't be bad. Dispel illusions, I think, is the best one, honestly. Yep, dispel illusions. Okay, level 3, nothing, 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 nothing. Level 7. Okay, uh, I guess I'm just going to take one resurrection, because why not? Yeah. I think we can. We have two holy wards. I could take another one for extra power, but I think we're fine. Level 8, level 9. Okay, so no more level 9 spells, sadly. Okay, so I guess the only item we pick up here is actually the Sword of the Paladin. Let's see if this is a good sword. Sera Sumat, Holy Avenger. That's a lot of text. <laughs> it's a one-handed sword. It's not um, restricted to good which I find it amusing. Plus five, spell resistance set to 26, that's amazing. Holy Avenger, plus 2d6 magic damage against evil creatures. This bonus damage is doubled against fiends and undead. Counts as a good aligned weapon. God damn. Dispel magic on target with each hit. Striking an ally dispels magic on them with no save. This is pretty good. But this can only be used by a paladin, right? So, fighters can't use it, clerics can't use it, right? Yeah, okay, it's a paladin only weapon. It's a cool weapon, though. The dispel, um, oh, I forgot. I should have been using this. It's, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so, that's the only thing we pick up here. Let's rest. To get Mr. Jan Janssen back, poor guy. As soon as he got disease, I could not move him. He also had miscast magic, so <laughs> it was all over. And if I knew the fight was going to be this big, I would have buffed up properly. But, again, being the first playthrough, I cannot uh, foretell what's going to happen every time. can only make assumptions. Let's pick up our loot. 
Okay. All of the usual stuff. This is the Robo Vecna-ish. Yes, it is. And... I think this is pretty much it, right? What is this? Attack bonus. Uh, some bolts. My crossbow. Okay. Jan is fully right. equipped once again. Easy as goblin pie. So we are now ready to go back to the severed hand. It's a cool fight. It's a cool fight. It's tough. There's a lot of effects going on, and if you are not properly buffed, it's it's gonna be a little bit painful. Your request. What, Jordan? Okay. Mm-hmm. You called. We gotta go over here. I'm here. I... And severed hand. Okay. So we had something in our journal talking about a ministry or a minister of something. Um, she did let slip that the minister of foreign affairs, Xavier Thorson, has the power to hand out delegate passes. Perhaps he would be a good person to see first once we get inside. Okay. So I expect traps and I expect uh, enemies in place. So here, as usual, we are going to have our basic buffs on. Ready. Uh, charisma. Your desire. Protection from Man. evil. Bless. Mind blank on myself. Iron skins. Okay, Impervious Sanctity. And I'm also gonna give Chaotic Commands, probably to Corgan. Because this is 10 rounds... Oh no, it's just 10 rounds plus 1 per level. This is the one that's 10 rounds per level. Okay, so I'm gonna give this... to myself, because Corgan has a helmet for this, right? Yeah, okay, so he's safe. And let's proceed. Ah, there was this thing over here. Which holds... Is this a wand? Sanctuary wand. Can grant the effects of sanctuary to a creature for five rounds. So not the caster. Okay. This could be useful. How many charges? Does not say. Um, quick item? No. What is quick item? Quick item. 50 charges. Okay. Interesting. We are gonna go uh, for the left side. And you can have a stone skin, Mr. Corgan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he immediately, oh, they are, no, enemy sighted, who's the enemy here? Guards. Yeah, I'm fully expecting this demon to also go hostile. Are these also guards? No, these are workers. Uh, these guys were tough. I can't really remember what they did, though. Zygma. Yeah, so I guess if I could bluff my way in, we could talk to these people, but... Uh, that plan has gone out the window, I believe. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna try sympathy here. Because there's a lot of humans. I'm gonna put it over there. What? And Please we're gonna start chopping them up. What? Your I guess we can get a defensive harmony. What 
And I am just gonna cast mirror image. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> all right, listen up. I've been informed by Captain Pudu that a party of adventurers is on their way to the hand. Under no circumstances are they allowed to enter. After this meeting, you are to return to your units and put them on full alert. I want extra guards placed at the entrance and walking the corridors as well. Now, as for the descriptions of the adventurers, they are as follows. By the powers, that's them! Slay them! Okay, well, we have sympathy. They all failed except for one guy and Zygma. She looks like an archer. Uh, what about the... I think these guys do not get affected. Not sure though. Uh, so shoot her. Yes. Uh, you are gonna get mirror images. I'm here. Oh, they are not hostile now. I think I'm gonna leave Corgan on this side because of the Glabrezu. Hmm. Maybe I don't need to do it. Okay. <laughs> well, they're all over there. Power word stun. God damn you, man. Uh, let's see if a Stygian Ice Storm is gonna do something to you guys. Hopefully it will. Just just move Done. back, I think. Corgan's fine going over there. Patricia. Patricia, Patricia, Patricia. Armor of Faith. You can just wait, I think. Okay, let's see how this plays out. If this guy doesn't go hostile, I think this fight is going to be a lot easier. Oh, the object of sympathy is badly wounded. Okay, that's that's fine. This guy is getting hammered. Okay, I expect them all to be feeble-minded. Yep. Oh, I killed Sig Sigma. Okay. Yeah, they're all feeble-minded except for the, um, the Slayer Knights. This guy does not care about this. You two go fight, please. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just start working on these ones since I'm not gonna be throwing anything over here. So get a Skull Trap in there. And that's kind of it. You can shoot this guy. Uh, Corgan, why are you taking so much damage, man? Almost dead. Dead. Patricia, can you heal? No, Patricia's under fire. No, she's not. <laughs> uh, heal. Where is my heal? Heal. Okay. Ready. Here I go. Shoot. Leader. Oh, he's badly wounded already. Okay. Then it's gonna be easy. Ow. Okay. Ready. Back up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I hear ya. Is ours for the taking. Okay. These are easy kills. I would even go so far as to say these are free kills. I'm just checking if they're all guards or if I should spare them. Mm -hmm. And now I don't understand if these guys did not turn hostile because I feeble minded them quickly. Or if they're not supposed to turn hostile uh, right away. Okay, we shall we shall find out later. In terms of goodies, quick loot button. Come to father, yes. Companion. Wonderful stuff. A lot of magical items here. Wait, I, of course I can't move. <laughs> that looks to me like a cloak of displacement, which we already have. Yep. Two of them. Okay. This might be a worthy pickup. Freedom of movement ring. Very nice. 
Greater Regeneration, also quite cool. Leather Armor Dexterity plus one. We already had one of these. I can just store it. And the Quarter Staff plus four. Nobody cares. Now, in terms of cloaks... Saving throw plus one, I could give him plus four. Although not for will, but it's still better. Uh, where are my... Ah, my will saves. 13, 15, 19. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Yeah, this is better. This is better. Okay. That's one upgrade. Anyone else want one of these? What are you using? Immune to sneak attacks. Yeah, okay. You can also have a cloak of displacement. Oh, come on. Too heavy? God damn it, man. Mm, I can put these away. Okay. As for the rings, I don't think I want to swap anything around. But the Ring of Regeneration isn't bad at all. Okay, but we are fine like this. Okay, so that's one section cleared out. Quick save. So, so why are you not hostile? Can I talk to you? What would you have of me, adventurer? Huh. He doesn't care about me. Who are you? My name is no concern of yours. Call me what you will, it matters not to me. And what are you doing here? My purpose here is no concern of yours. Had you a need to know, you most likely would. Can you tell me about Severed Hand? My duties do not include instructing intruders on this fortress or its environs. If it is information you seek, do so elsewhere. <laughs> I guess it's pretty obvious. What makes you think that I'm an intruder? I can smell the blood of those you have slain on your hands. I can see the taint of their deaths on your spirit. You cannot hide your nature from me, adventurer. Then why not sound the alarm? You are akin to a plague that sweeps the land. Many shall fall before you and, when they do, I shall revel in the chaos and destruction that you bring. By your actions, I will be strengthened in mind and spirit. I do nothing that aids you, demon. Every life that you take, for good or for ill, taints your spirit and brings you one step closer to me. And what I have become. There is a big difference between you and I. Yes. I do not try to justify my actions by hiding behind a moral or ethical facade. Do as thou will shall be the whole of the law. Such is my credo. I must take my leave of you. Farewell. Um. Okay, so... I'm gonna try something here. If it doesn't work, I might as well just load. But I want to see if I can kill this guy without the alarm being sounded. If it's sounded, Ready. it's gonna be a different story. Okay, well, he's hostile. Eh, don't cast chaos. Let's see if we can interrupt him. Please. No interruption, but we saved. I think Corgan is failing every single attack, so let's... Missing, I should say. Let's lower the power attack here. Yeah, I don't think the demon really cares about... The mace. Okay, we summoned another one. Uh, does this missile work? Let's see. Wait. Death, disruption. Wait, but this guy is friendly. Huh? Your request, not a problem. Oh, wow. As you can see, your effort was in vain. Now, leave me be. I have nothing more to say to you. How can this be? How can you live yet again, demon? I cannot be slain by such as you, adventurer. I have been placed here by a higher power. Strike me down and I shall rise yet again. 
Huh. Will you name the power that placed you here? Yaktus Vim, the new darkness, the godson of Bane. Now leave me. I have nothing more to say to you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Um, okay, I was not expecting that, but cool. Let's swap the weapons around. Uh, you are using the proper. Yes, you are. Okay. Well. Cool interaction. Let us proceed. These are all workers. No, this guy is named. This lady is not named. Hello, Jerry. What's the name of the guy I want? Xavier. Okay. Absolutely. Well met. I am Jerry Sto, the slave foreman. How may I serve you? You are a slave? Yes. You did not know that. Who are you and what are you doing here? <laughs> Do not presume to question me, slave. Of course. Forgive my impertinence. I must return to my work now. Farewell. Wait, I have questions for you. As do I for you. However, you choose not to answer mine, so I choose not to answer yours. Now, will you tell me who you are and why you are here? Hmm, maybe he's happy if I tell him that I'm here to kill the masters of this place? I am an adventurer from Targos. I am here to end the war with the Ten Towns. I see. I must ask you one more question then. Have you come here to negotiate a treaty or to end the threat? That's an interesting question, Jer. Why do you ask? If you are here to negotiate, then I and the other workers will most likely remain as slaves. I see no reason why we would enter into the negotiations. However, if you are here to end the threat, I am here to end the threat. Ill matter be praised. Perhaps our suffering will come to an end at last. I have information that may aid you in your efforts. Okay, what information would that be? You have seen the demon in the hall yonder? Yeah, I have seen the creature. What of it? The creature is no ordinary demon. It has been enchanted in a way that I do not understand. It is immortal and cannot be slain by any mortal means. True. You have learned of the immortal demons? Plural. I don't like that. I have already fought the creature and found this to be true. Is there anything else you can tell me? Two such creatures guard Izer and Medea at all times. It would be best to learn how to defeat them before confronting the Lord and Lady. Okay. I am grateful for you for telling me this, Jared. Well, my motives are purely selfish. The workers and I are slaves. The demon in the guard, uh, the demon is the guard that keeps us here. If you defeat it, then you also free us. <laughs> Very well, I shall do so. I would be forever in your debt. I would never be able to repay you, but would gladly aid you in any way I could. I must take my leave of you. Farewell. Okay, so... There are slaves here that we can help. Worker. Worker. No named characters in this region. What? Not a problem. Okay, what else can we find? We can still explore a little bit more before we finish the episode. Uh, worker, worker. I do wish I could just press Alt and it would show me the names of everyone, but alas, it is not the case. Worker, worker. Worker. Hmm. There is a way up here. We don't need to get past the demon at least. Yeah, the area is pretty much identical to what it was in Icewind Dale 1, except the inhabitants and certain changes that were done to the environment. Uh, check for traps over there. 
shouldn't. Oh, and I should use my my wilderness lore. That's right. You see many tracks made by humans. They travel in every direction and crisscross many times. Any other tracks have been obscured. Okay. This was not trapped, but this I think is kind of a worthless potion. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's actually a pretty good potion. Uh, okay, this is because we're buffed up. In any case, I think Vicky is the one that's going to get the buffs here. Or Patricia. Or Corgan. Maybe Corgan. The will save, I think, is the most important one. Because of chaos and domination and stuff like that. Jan isn't all that great either, but... Yeah, yeah, okay. So Corgan's gonna drink the potion. Okay. You happy, Corgan? That's the second one you got. We shall continue exploring. Barrels. Interesting. Okay, I think we're gonna just stop right here in this corner. We're gonna end the episode here. Let me just make my save before I forget. Save number 94. Uh, so yeah, as usual, thank you so much everyone for being here in the channel, watching some My Swing Dale 2 with me. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, you know what to do, leave a comment. If you want to get notified about other videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe. They are coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe everyone.